Hey guys, in today's episode of Jake's Workshop, we're gonna go ahead and revisit one of the things that I love. Here's a GT, GeForce GTX 1060 from EVGA. It's a six gig card and what I showed off in my introduction video, where I talked about the things that I love. This card was purchased for Carl. He's one of my good friends and he likes to play World of Warcraft and frankly has a terrible computer. Today, we're gonna fix that for him. Uh, his computer is one of the pre-built computers that you'd walk into a place like Best Buy or if, <laughs> Staples if you still go there uh, and buy a pre-built desktop off the shelf. Uh, and frankly, it wasn't really good enough for World of Warcraft when he started playing. Um, so we're, we're gonna get him up to speed in a really big way. So for the hardware, I'm gonna go through the boxes quick for you guys. We have a Core i3, it's really the brains of the operation. Uh, it's not a crazy chip or anything, but it'll be plenty fast and very energy efficient. It runs at 3.9 gigahertz, has three megs of cache, it's the current generation socket, and it's the brand new 7th gen KB Lake. Memory. Without memory, your computer runs into terrible, awful slowdowns. Think of memory as a desk. If you have a really tiny desk to work on, you can only spread things out so much. If your desk is this big, you really can't do much. My desk right here is about this big because that's the camera lens I've got on. Uh, that's okay, it's enough for me to do what I've gotta do, but if my lens was wider and covered a bigger desk, I could spread things out a bit more. 16 gigs is far more than Carl needs, but it's, he's de it's definitely not gonna go to waste. 16 gigs right now is a really good amount for people that wanna hang on to their computer for a while that really um, might use it uh, or just frankly are gonna work hard on your, on your computer. If you have a desktop, 16 gigs is a very reasonable amount to have. Right now, I'm running 16 gigs in my computer uh, and it's plenty for what I'm doing. It works great. Next, storage. Now I'm only showing one of the storage drives at the moment, but I'll show you the other one in a sec. This one is the primary storage drive. It's a SanDisk solid state, 240 gigs. It's rather fast, much faster, about five times, much faster than the current mechanical hard drives. Uh, it's a little slower than some of the high-end ones, but you save a lot of money when you buy a drive that's a little bit smaller, and for Carl's purposes, it's frankly gonna do great. The power supply. Think of the power supply as, you know, a meal. Uh, the, your stomach, all the cells that bring power where it needs to go to the power of the goods, right? So without this power supply, uh, none of this would turn on. It would just be a useless pile of, you know, gold contacts and pieces of memory. It would just be a waste. So this power supply is a really nice offering from EVGA. It's a good budget part. It comes in at 80 plus bronze certified, which means it is one of the more efficient models. There are multiple stages of um, 80 plus. Bronze being one of the lowest ones, but as long as it's a 80 plus rated power supply, it's gonna do pretty well. Some of the higher end ones come in at gold, platinum, etc. That means it's extremely efficient. Uh, this one is plenty efficient for what Carl's gonna do with it. Uh, it's not gonna make his power bill surge or anything, or excuse me, his landlord's power, power bill surge. And it has some really nice features to boot as well. It's quiet. All the cables are black and it's semi-modular, which means we'll have less cables running through the case to make a mess of it. It makes my job much easier. Next, we have the video card. This is the eyes of the operation. It's got six gigs of GDDR5 memory, which is very fast. If you remember, this memory is DDR4, and that's rather fast. So when you go to D GDDR5, it's even faster. This card is nothing crazy, but it's plenty for what Carl's gonna do. Frankly, it's overkill, and that's a good thing. It means when there's an expansion pack that comes out for World of Warcraft, he can keep playing. He won't have to call me and say, hey Jake, I need a computer built. Here's <laughs> however many dollars it takes to do it. This build came out to around 850 bucks, shipped from Amazon. And you'll see why there's quite a few parts that you guys won't see until we're actually working with them. The final main component is the motherboard. I've used lots of MSI products in the past with mixed results. Recently, however, they seem to have stepped up their game. Their quality's been better, the products they're making are better, uh, and frankly, their warranty is excellent. Uh, I've recently dealt with their warranty service twice on motherboards that have 
frankly been through the ringer uh, and not treated well. Uh, and they did not give us any trouble um, dealing with them and RMAing them.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really was hoping to do a little bit of a just a quick build, show you guys how to build a computer, why I chose the parts that I chose. Uh, on YouTube, you do see a lot of computers that are three, four thousand dollar budgets. It's kind of absurd. Um, really, the entry cost of entry on most of these computers is fifteen hundred dollars. So I wanted to show what you can do with eight hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, you really can build a decent computer. Uh, it's going to sip power. It's going to play World of Warcraft great, uh, and I think Carl's going to be real happy with it. So, yeah. If you guys like this, please give me a like. If you disliked it, please let me know why. Um, I really would like to make these videos as good as I can. Um, so yeah, just please keep commenting. Please keep letting me know what you guys want to see. Um, hopefully pretty soon I'll have some new goodies and toys to show you. Um, the next video, I'm hoping I can spend some time in the garage and bring you guys along for that. So yeah, enjoy. And again, let me know what you think.